Hey, fellow adventurers and dragons dogma enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a rather perplexing aspect of Dragon's Dogma 2 that has left many players scratching their heads. In this video, we'll unpack the curious case of the carrying capacity mechanic in the game and why it feels like Capcom is playing a game of tug of war with itself. So grab your inventory bags carefully so you don't become encumbered and let's explore this feature that's been causing quite the discussion. The weight of the world. At the heart of many RPGs is the concept of carrying capacity a limit to how much your character can carry before being slowed down or unable to move. Dragon's Dogma 2 is no exception incorporating this feature in a way that seems all too familiar to veterans of the genre. From the sprawling landscapes of The Witcher 3 to the dark corridors of Dark Souls, we've seen this mechanic implemented in various ways, but Dragon's Dogma 2 brings its own flavor to the table. A problem of Capcom's own making. What makes Dragon's Dogma 2's take on carrying capacity so intriguing is how the game simultaneously imposes this limit on players and then provides a plethora of ways to circumvent it. From leveling up to consuming golden trove beetles, equipping specific rings or utilizing the few augment, the game offers multiple solutions to a problem it insists on presenting in the first place. This duality creates a peculiar situation. On one hand, carrying capacity adds a layer of realism and strategy to inventory management, forcing players to make tough decisions about what to take and what to leave behind. On the other, the abundance of workarounds suggests a reluctance to fully commit to the mechanic's limitations. The weight of convenience vs. Realism. The inclusion of carrying capacity in RPGs has always been a balancing act between realism and player convenience. While it grounds the experience in a sense of physicality and resource management, it can also become a source of frustration, interrupting the flow of adventure with constant inventory micromanagement. In Dragon's Dogma 2, Capcom seems to acknowledge this tension but doesn't take a definitive stance. The result is a mechanic that feels more like an afterthought, a nod to RPG traditions that the game itself seems eager to move past. This ambivalence might leave players wondering why the mechanic is there at all if the game is so intent on providing ways around it. A bag too heavy or too light? The carrying capacity in Dragon's Dogma 2 raises the question, is it better to have a feature that adds depth and challenge but comes with built-in ways to mitigate it or would it be preferable to remove such constraints altogether and focus on other aspects of gameplay? Capcom's approach seems to fall somewhere in the middle, offering a nod to tradition while trying not to bog down the player's experience with too much weight literally and figuratively. Final thoughts. As we venture through the vast and dangerous lands of Dragon's Dogma 2, the carrying capacity mechanic serves as a reminder of the delicate balance game developers must strike between immersing players in a believable world and ensuring the gameplay remains engaging and fun. Whether Capcom's decision to include and then subtly sidestep this feature is a boon or a bane is ultimately up to individual players to decide. What do you think about the carrying capacity mechanic in Dragon's Dogma 2? Is it an unnecessary burden or does it add a valuable layer of strategy to the game? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gaming insights and discussions. Until next time, keep those inventories light and your adventures grand.